let's keep working on the math behind this question. So recall we want to differentiate this profit function with respect to the quantity of the regular customers and the quantity of the discount customers. So let's do exactly that. Let's work it out over here. So we start differentiating this with respect to quantity of the regular customers. That's going to be our variable. The rest is going to be our constant. So we have from here a times qr derivative with respect to qr. That's going to be just a minus b times qr squared derivative with respect to qr. That's going to be b times 2 qr. This one becomes a zero because there's no QR. This one becomes a zero because there's no QR minus B times QD because that's going to be our constant QD. And now from the total cost, let me just write there the total cost so that we know what we're going to differentiate from that. That's going to be a fixed constant, a fixed constant, right? I'm going to write it in brackets plus the marginal cost times the quantity of the regular plus the quantity of the discount customers. So now what we're going to do is differentiate this whole thing with respect to the quantity of the regular customers. The fixed is a constant, so that's going to be just zero minus, oh, sorry, marginal cost times the quantity of the regulars derivative with respect to the quantity of the regulars becomes just marginal cost. After we take the derivative with the negative sign, it's minus marginal cost. So minus, let's just call it M for the sake of, you know, uh, notation. The other one is QD, so we have nothing with QR, that is going to be zero. So this whole derivative is going to equal to zero. Now let's keep working the other one. This one, derivative with respect to quantity of the discount customers, going from here again. A times QR, nothing with QD, so that's just zero, minus B times QR squared derivative with respect to, to QD, nothing with QD, so that becomes zero. A times QD derivative with QD, that's just A, then minus B times QD squared derivative with respect to QD, that's just going to become B times 2 times QD, minus B times QR times QD derivative with respect to QD, that's just B times QR, so B times QR, because that's the only constant left, minus the F, it's a, there is a constant derivative, is just 0, marginal cost times QR, well, we're differentiating with respect to QD, that's becoming zero. Marginal cost times QD, derivative with QD, that's just marginal cost, with a negative sign in front, is becoming minus M equals to zero. That's a system, let's not forget that. So we're taking this together, we keep solving. Now we can see the M over here, we can see the M over here as well. Let's make them in the same format so that, so that we can work something there. So we'll take M on the other side and we'll have A minus Let's write this 2BQR minus BQD equals 2M. This is going to be pretty mechanical now, so let's do that. A minus 2BQD minus BQR equals 2M. It's just rewriting these equations, taking the M's on the other side. Why did we do that? Well, just to prove this point that M is equal to M, meaning that these two equations are going to be the same. So let's write that below we'll have a minus a minus 2 b q r minus b q d equals to a minus 2 b q d so we're writing the second equation minus b q r minus b q r recall that this is an equation so a and a cancel out we can drop them let's work out with the same variables let's take minus 2 b q r plus BQR on one side. So let's take this one, let's take this one to the other side. It's becoming minus 2BQR plus BQR equals 2. Over here we're left with minus 2BQD and let's take this term minus BQD on the other side with the positive plus BQD. Let's solve this. So we have minus 2BQR plus BQR it's going to be just minus b times qr is equal to minus 2b times qd plus b times qd is equal to minus b times qd. Now we cancel out, we cancel out the constants b and b goes away because it's an equation. The negative and the negative also goes away. And then we're left with the relationship that qr equals to qd. So that's a good relationship we found. Now we're going to use this relationship into the maximizing formula to find out what's actually this quantity, like in terms of the line, in terms of the intercepts, in terms of the slope, etc. So 
let's just rewrite one of these equations for instance let's take the first one and rewrite it in the following way a minus 2 times b q r minus b times q d equals 2 m we just found that q r uh, is the same as QD, so we can substitute it over here. We will have A minus 2BQR minus B times QR equals 2M, meaning we have A minus 3BQR equals 2M. We're solving for QR because we want to know the quantity that we're selling to the regular customers. Quantity that we're selling to the regular customers, actually let's take it first with the entire term to the right so that we can show where it's coming from. We're going to have 3BQR is equal to A divided by M. Sorry, A minus M, because we're taking M to the other side. We're taking M to the other side, so it's A minus M. Now we divide both sides by 3B, so we'll have the quantity that we sell to the regular customers is equal to A minus M divided by 3B. And recall that this is also equal to the quantity that we sell to the discount customers. That's the relationship we found. So we found out the quantities, what shape they're going to have in terms of the intercept, the marginal cost and the slopes. Let's leave it like that for this video. In the next video, we'll actually finish it off with finding the profit maximizing prices.